Yeah. My name is Jasmine and Brittany Kelly, Brittany Snowball and Paulette Ryder and I are going out to the mount and camping there for the night to make a documentary on the mount and to get some stories. Let's go. Ah! This is us driving into Flintstone. Rihanna. Hi. Paulette. Brittany. Hi. Brittany. Oh, she don't want to look at the camera. I don't know. And you don't know if it's a watch it. Park here and walk up. Oh, we're not going to drive then. We climbed to Flintstone. Now we arrived. I would like to tell you a story about Flintstone. This is where some of the old kangaroos come when they are about to, are about to die and they rest in peace to die here in caves. So here we are. Picking up and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Side bathing. Here we are climbing down Flintstone and it's getting about sundown so we got to go and find our camp and this is some of us girls unpacking the car and getting ready for bed and dinner and setting up our camp. Oh yeah, I'm recording. This is Jasmine making a fire. And this is Brittany Kelly on the chair. Hello. Look at the camera properly. Hello, Rihanna. Hi guys, we're trying to set up camp here. Trying. <laughs> we're just getting the camp oven ready right now. And then it's dinner time. That is the mount. <laughs> In that fire there, we get to make it. Billy tea to drink tonight. And on this oven here, we have toast or sausages or baked beans. Um, Jasmine, what are you doing? I'm cooking toast here. Okay. Why don't we uh, what are you doing? Drinking tea. Relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just walk over the mouth and go straight across the road. Okay. <laughs> what are you cooking, Rhiannon? Um, a real Aussie dinner, I suppose. <laughs> sausage sizzle. <laughs> and sausages on bread for dinner. With what? With sauce. What? Bread and sauce. That's it. What else and is there? Is it hard cooking? No, easy, easy. Put the sausage in the pan, give it a little stab, and let it cook. Who are you cooking for? I'm cooking for myself, 
Beck, Jasmine, Paulette, Brittany and Brittany. Hi girls, come and listen to the story. In the dreaming, a boy called Boringa was undergoing his initiation into manhood. The rigours of this process to distressed him that he ran away thereby breaking the Aboriginal law. Tribesmen pursued the boy, finally catching up with him and spearing him in the upper right leg as his punishment. Boringa fell to the ground, the spearhead broke from his shaft and protruded from his leg. The boy tried to crawl away but was hit with a mulgar. Boringaya collapsed and died, lying on his belly with his left leg bent up beside his body. You can see that his final resting pose when you approach Mount Augustus from the south. The geological fracture lines at the western end of the mount indicate the wound inflicted by the mulgar. Look for the spear stump in his leg today. It's called Edna's Lookout. Wicked. It's really yeah. interesting. I'll have to look out for that properly tomorrow. I'm just doing the dishes here and we're just packing the car then we're gonna go climb the mount and go swimming at cattle pool Augustus is the traditional lands of the Wadri tribe. Burungara is the Wadri name for Mount Augustus. In times of plenty, the Wadri people would roam over a wide of areas of the Gascoigne in times of drought. However, they would return to areas where water was available, such as the natural springs along the base of Mount Augustus. Aboriginal occupation is evident by the engravings on rock walls at Mundi, Urumbu and Bido Bundu. Visit, site, visit to sites and buy numerous stone tools discovered in these areas. Burungara continues to be a very significant site to the Wadjuri people. Many of them live at the nearby Burungara community. And that's where we live and come from. We're about halfway up to the mount. We've been climbing for a few hours. The girls behind me are having a rest because they're tired and hungry. And... We don't know if we're going to make it to the top, but all we know is there's a table and chairs up there with a book and a glass, and we're going to try and get up there to read it. But if we don't make it, we're going to walk back down. We didn't make it to the top of the mount, so instead we decided to go yeah. to Catapult. This is where we come swimming and fishing when it's hot. So before you jump in the water you have to greet the water with sand and this is how you greet the water. If you don't chuck the sand in you'll get drowned from the snake that's in the water and you'll die. We really enjoyed ourselves but now it's time to go back home to Boringara. Coming back home. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Stand up. We are at the back of the mountain camping for the night. Brittany. <laughs> <laughs>